Hello, I am Florian Le Marchand from University of Rennes in France, and I'm going to present you uh, our contribution named Noise Breaker, Gradual Image Denoising Guided by Noise Analysis. I will first introduce what is mixture noise, present our gradual strategy, and give you some experimental results. Here are some notations that I will be using in the following of the presentation. Let's be H, a noise model that corrupts an image X, uh, said as original image or reference. We obtain a noisy image that we want to denoise using a denoiser D. We obtain an approximated image X at, and finally we evaluate the denoising with epsilon, an evaluation criteria. Through the presentation, you will be able to follow which of these three points we are talking about. With this schematic here, with H, D, and epsilon. First, let's talk about noise models. Most known noise models are made of primary noises as Gaussian, Speckle, Uniform, Bernoulli, or Poisson noises. What we address here is mixture noise and especially sequential mixture noise. A sequential mixture noise is the sequential application of different primary noises. As here, you obtain Y with uh, corrupting X with a noise model H1 and after that you corrupt this Y results with a novel uh, noise model. For example here, this is the application of a Gaussian noise followed by the application of a Bernoulli noise. And here it's the same with Bernoulli and Speckle. The difficulty is that you obtain, you obtain extremely noised images. Most denoising techniques are made for primary noise. However, they can be used for mixture noise removal. The current state of the art for denoising is supervised deep learning. The major drawbacks of these techniques is that it has to be trained on supervised data set for each mixture, meaning that they cannot adapt to unknown mixtures. Another possibility is self-supervised that enables training supervised model without paired data. The point is that it has also to be retrained for each mixture. Another possibility is expert-based denoising, which filters the input image following expert rules. Our proposal is to use gradual denoising that removes the primary noise one after the other. It can adapt to various mixture noise until primary noise are known. Here is our proposal named noise breaker. We give the input image to a classifier C that predicts the noise type and noise level, the dominance in the image. That predictions drives a pool of denoising methods made for primary noise removal. This pool remove the noise predicted by the classifier and this process is iterative. Until noise is detected, the pool of denoisers remove component, components. Once no, no noise is detected anymore, the process goes out and output the denoise image. The noise analysis is conducted by C, the classifier, that detects the dominant noise in, in the input image. The feature extractor is the one of MobileNet V2 pre-trained on ImageNet. We retrained using fine tuning, the head responsible for the classifications and the feature extractor using ImageNet samples 
corrupt, corrupted by primary noise. The gradual denoising block driven by the classification fires only the appropriate denoiser according to prediction, to classify to classification predictions. It is made of state-of-the-art denoising architectures dedicated to primary noise. Here are the classes used in noise breaker. A class is defined by a noise type and a range of parameters that corrupts the image of that class. In noise breaker, cl class refinement is used, meaning that uh, noise type has different classes. And also we use dedicated denoising architecture, meaning that each noise type can be removed through a different denoising architecture. To evaluate our method, we used the six mixture noises proposed in the paper of Liu et al. Composed of Gaussian, Bernoulli, Speckle, and Poisson noise. The six classes are really different, with, for example, C C2 and C5 being small corruptions, and C0 and C4 being hardly hard corruptions. We use PSNR and SSIM to evaluate uh, our method and competing ones. The underlying data is made of BSD68 samples, both grayscale and RGB. We compare to BM3D as an expert-based method, noise to void as a self-supervised method, and to UAL, which is also a gradual denoising strategy. For BM3D, we use a sigma of 50, which is the only param parameter required by BM3D. For noise to void, we retrained a model for each type of mixture, and the results of LUAL are directly taken from their paper. Here are the results. We can see that our technique it is better for every class, both in SSIM and PSNR. Compared to the directly related LUAL method, we are 2 dB better uh, for grayscale, as well as 13% better in SSYM. And for RGB, our method operates 4.8 dB higher, higher that, uh, than LUAL, and 38% in SSIM. You can see here on the left subjective results with the first column being made of noisy images followed by BM3D noise to void and noise breaker denoising results and the last column is made of clean images. The objective metrics for PSNR and SSIM are also displayed on the images. What we can see from this figure is that noise breaker images are both more pleasant and better uh, regarding the objective metrics. Sometimes the gradual denoising does not work as expected. For example, it is possible that the first denoising may remove the second noise or it is possible that a wrong denoiser may be applied. Also, noisy image may be classified as clean images, and in this case, no denoising is conducted. To conclude, noise breaker has the major ad advantage that it can address mixture noise removal without being trained on mixtures. It supports any type of mixture as long as um, primary noise are contained in the classification problem. Noise breaker is 4.8 dB better in PSNR and 38% better in SSIM than the competing Liu et al. gradual denoising 
on BS68 RGB samples. Our future work include, includes evaluating deeper the class refinement. The idea is that the more classes we have, the more the classification problem is difficult and the more denoisers you need to train. On the other hand, the denoising architectures, denoising models are more delicate and could present better denoising results. Another thing we want to do is to hide primary noise to support more mixture cases. Thank you for your attention and don't hesitate if you have questions. Thank you.